a playlist original. Welcome to the Pilot Podcast, where we review the pilot episodes of TV shows to answer your question, should I watch this? My name is Mitu. And my name is BJ. And this week, we're watching Gravity Falls on Disney+. Plus. So stay tuned to find out if Mitu has a twin. Ooh. Okay. Until then, why don't you tell us about this listener-recommended animated cult classic? Sure. Gravity Falls follows twin siblings, Dipper and Mabel Pines, who spend their summer at their great uncle Stan's tourist trap. Dipper is voiced by Jason Ritter, Mabel by Kristen Shaw, and Stan by Alan Hirsch. And in this first episode, Dipper finds a mysterious journal hidden in the forest and tries to save Mabel from her strange new boyfriend. So, me too. What were your first impressions? I really liked this, and I get why the Gravity Falls Hive nerd community loves this one so much. Specifically, I think in this first episode, there's a really great use of narration. You and I often go back and forth on whether it adds anything to a story. It's often used a bit gratuitously. In this case, it brings you in, you catch up quickly with what's going on, and it keeps you followed up with the plot so that they can move at an even quicker pace to fit in as much fun and hijinks as possible, which animation allows for because you can make these characters do anything. And I think it works well with this setting of Dipper recounting his summer with Mabel and his grunkle, his great uncle. (laughs) And with such a strange and quirky world, having someone kind of walk you through it is helpful. Truly. And I thought the narration added a lot of good humor. Yes, this is a funny show. Very surprised. Especially for an animated show, I recognize that this is a very popular show. I laughed several times, like out loud. These characters had me hooting and they had me hollering. And specifically what I loved is our two central characters, Mabel and Dipper. Mabel being this boy crazy character and then dipper just trying to find mysteries in this mysterious town and there's a moment where he tries to hide the journal from his grunkle and he pulls out a magazine to be like this is what i was reading and it was a magazine called gold chains for old men and for some reason that gag of that joke I had to pause because I was laughing so hard. And I was like, I don't want to miss any plot because they're managing to fit so much in here. And I like that it is fast paced. Like a lot happens in this pilot episode. We get the whole backstory of why they're there. We get introduced to the family, the other workers, Wendy and Seuss. And then we have Dipper and his journal plotline and Mabel and her boyfriend plotline. But it didn't feel crowded. It was just fun. Yes, I was never overwhelmed. It all went together really seamlessly. And specifically, Mabel and that boyfriend cracked me up. So our concern is that he is some kind of monster. Dipper's journal indicates that. And the moments where he's following them and trying to look for monster clues, so funny. And then there's this character that helps around the store named Seuss, also voiced by Alex Hirsch. And he cracked me up when he was supplying Dipper with tools or whatever in case this person turned out to be a monster there was a moment where he like hands him an axe and he's like it's in case if he's this and then he hands him a bat and he goes this is just in case you see a pinata and for some reason that joke just cracked me up and i like that there's a nice twist we know what dipper thinks about this mysterious boyfriend normal guy or norman (laughs) (laughs) my name is normal guy norman how the plot was resolved was very surprising but also fun and satisfying and it reinforced that dipper and mabel have like a heartwarming sibling relationship and maybe it's because they're twins they're not fighting with each other throughout this episode yes the only argument is because dipper cares too much Oh, isn't that sweet? It's like a job interview. Like, I work too hard. I care too much. Those are my flaws. And we really actually see that acted out where he's maybe too protective of his sister. And then maybe rightfully so after we learn some things about normal guy Norman. And Mabel is quirky. She's outside the norms. So maybe there is some reason to worry about her choices at times. 
<laughs> I also love their dynamic because in the journal, a light spoiler is one of the entries he reads says, trust no one in Gravity Falls. We don't know who wrote this journal, why they wrote it, what they're tracking. A lot of the pages are missing or half ripped out, or it seems like the person stopped writing mid-entry, which also builds such great intrigue. I look forward to the overall mystery in the show, guided by figuring out this journal. But one of the entries is Trust No One in Gravity Falls. And Dipper quickly is like, well, I can trust Mabel. And that's really sweet. But what if that is the downfall in the end? Can you imagine (laughs) if the lesson is, in fact, you should trust no one, including the person with whom you shared a womb (laughs) and a room with a goat? True. I like that they're setting up bigger mysteries as well. How Dipper finds that journal was very suspicious. And I will say that the end of this pilot episode leads us to believe there's more mysteries to uncover outside of that journal. Yes. There's a lot more mysteries to uncover, and the adults in their lives might know more than they're letting on. Although it's odd because one of the gags this episode is, while Dipper and Mabel are dealing with Norman, Stan doesn't seem to notice any of the weird stuff going on because he's handling tourists. (laughs) He's locked in. He is a money-making guy. Would you go visit his shop? No, I make it a point to not visit unsettling things. It's the mystery shack. Doesn't that sound intriguing? I don't like haunted tours of places, haunted houses. I have done a haunted house or two in my day, but now that I am a grown-up lady, I no longer have to be part of things I don't want to be part of. And then, you know how people do like ghost tours and stuff? I, I've done those a couple times, but again, now that I'm a grown up and I get to actively opt out of things, not that I couldn't before, but now I understand that I get to opt out of things. And less consequences as an adult. So would I come up to a place that is called Mystery Shack in a small town in Oregon as a black woman? No, I don't think that that would be sort of a recipe that I'd be looking to uncover what it makes. You're missing out on all those mysteries. How many mystery shacks would you go to in remote areas? How many? Probably one at most. And you would walk in? If I saw a lot of people there, I'd be like, this seems like a popular destination. For some reason, I'm in rural Oregon, so I'm really leaning (laughs) into this vacation. (laughs) That's true. I guess if you're already there, you have made some decisions to make yourself predisposed to then go to a shack called the Mystery Shack. Yeah, if this is happening, I'm leaning in all the way. That's fair. I really appreciate that. What you're doing is committing to the bit. There you go. And I'm going to find out who Norman really is. Normal guy. Just a normal guy. That's all he is. That's right. That's all he is. (laughs) All right. With that, do you want to keep uncovering if there are normal guys or... Whatever else is going on in this town in Gravity Falls on Disney Plus? I do. It's odd because I remember seeing so much about this show when it came out. I still see clips every now and then online, but I never took the step to actually watch an episode. And now that I have, I think I will keep watching casually. I want to know more about this mystery in Gravity Falls. How do you feel? For some reason, I had not heard the hype around this show. I don't know how I missed it because I love an animated show. And in looking it up after seeing it in our queue to watch, I saw that it was extremely popular, broke different records for broadcast viewing and has this huge following. And I understand why. It's really lovely. I will watch again seriously. I want to know what's going on in this town. I was very tempted to keep watching after the pilot, but I did not want to confuse myself before this review. (laughs) So I stuck to the pilot. I stuck to the rules, not because I'm any kind of rule follower, but because (laughs) I just didn't want to get coincident. (laughs) (laughs) And I would recommend it to anyone else in Animated Show Hive. This show clearly birthed a lot of sons. Like, there's a lot of other shows that have come out since then that feel influenced by what I saw in Gravity Falls. A trendsetter. Mm Mm-hmm. 
Well, with that, if you want to find some more trends in television, you can listen to more episodes at thepilotpodcast.com or follow us on all of your favorite podcast platforms. I don't have a twin. You can also follow us on social media at the pilot pod on Instagram, TikTok, and X. And you can send thoughts, feelings, show recommendations, or your application to be my twin to ask the pilot podcast at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. Or maybe you're waiting for your parent trap moment. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>